Tick, tick, tick. Good morning. I am Eli Ducey Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. Today, we're going to talk about a little tank that Heaven Gift sent to me to preview. It's called the Carries Green Tank. Check it out. Vape AM Carries Green Tank review. I hope you're having a good morning. It's Vape AM. Good morning. I probably need a contract with someone else to buy some more music for this. Uh, if you can do music, let's talk about making a little intro. We need about five seconds. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. I'm just getting ready. I'm going to go to work here pretty soon. I hope you've got a cup of tea and coffee. I do. Brady's saying hi. Hey, Owen. Everybody, good morning. Nice to see y'all. We're going to talk about this Carrie's Green Tank that Heaven Gifts sent me today. And it's weird. This is a... You guys saw I did an unboxing of this thing on YouTube or on Instagram. And it's such a strange thing that... I normally sort of don't put so much weight on, where's my desk? There it is. Put as much weight on stuff that comes in that's super weird and cheap. But this is like the most inexpensive little super sub bomb tank and it's actually pretty darn good. I'm gonna do a giveaway of this. And so I'll tell you how, I'll tell you what we're gonna do for that after I talk about this for a few minutes and we have a few minutes chatting with you in the live audience. Everybody say hello. Hey, Stuart, Mark, Emir, everyone, good morning. I want to say thank you also for our most recent subscribers, Carl Walsall, James, 5801, Mahmoud Abad, Dave, oh, Mahmoud Abada, that's easy. David Tullock, Jason Kennedy, Ryan Baxter, all you guys, thank you so much. These are just the ones off the top of my email that I got. I never really explicitly go and thank people though, but I get emails for everyone who subscribes and I really appreciate it. We've been here for two and a half years. And it's great. I want to remind everybody that we're going to the West Coast Vape Expo December 9th and 10th in Pasco, Washington. If you're anywhere near there, join me. I'm going to be at the Van Gogh booth. It's going to be awesome. Um, if you're anywhere near the Pacific Northwest at all, you can make it out there. Um, hey, Dro, it's great to see you. Haven't seen that in a while. I probably just missed you from not looking in the chat. Uh, look at this thing down here. Boom, the desk. Uh, and like I said, I'll tell you guys how to give this away. This thing is has got almost no packaging. I mean, the you guys saw in the unboxing how the entire package is this. And it contains a silica strip, the tank, a silicon o-ring, and a silicon drip tip. So it's literally the least expensive kit you've ever seen. And it's not exactly full air either. So let's go up and we'll talk about this thing a little bit. This thing is... A super inexpensive tank that came from Heaven Gifts. I don't, I don't know who Carries is. I don't know where this comes from. All I know is that typically when I get these really, really cheap Asian, you know, just no-name tanks, they're garbage, and I never, don't want anything to do with them. But this time, this thing's actually pretty good. And let me tell you guys, this thing is really cheap. There's links for this stuff in the bio, by the way, in Heaven Gifts. But it's 11 bucks for this tank, and a five-pack of coils is 6 bucks from Heaven Gifts. So... This is really inexpensive. Team Cheap Stuff is going to love this thing. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because this is pretty good for such an inexpensive coil or inexpensive tank. And they've got three kinds of coils. They've got a single, a dual, and a triple coil. Uh, in here right now, I have the dual coil. Let me make sure I've got that right. I, no, this is the single coil that I have in here. And, uh, yeah, do I have that right? And it's, or actually, let me verify that. Hey, baby. 
Oh, this is the 0.5 ohm coil. Sorry, it's just registering wrong for some reason. And that's the other thing I was going to say is that these are really inexpensive, but the coils register all over the place, like all the time. So one thing you should know is that, like I said, this is this is really inexpensive stuff. But for 11 bucks, if you're just looking for something new, like I said, this thing is pretty good. It's got restricted airflow. And I know you remember from the unboxing that it's got a sort of a cyclops on either side. The airflow is not adjustable on this. The coils go in and out. One thing that makes this thing so inexpensive is that the coils come in and out in this weird, not weird, but in this newfangled way everyone's doing where we pop this off and the coils just come in and out, but the entire coil is covered in silicone. And so 30 to 70 watts right there, 30 to 80 watts. I vape these at about 55 watts. So this thing is a little bit janky and as much as the coils seem to register all over the place, I can't exactly recommend this thing for quality or anything. But for an inexpensive thing for fun, it's pretty good. 11 bucks, come on. Um, it doesn't come with extra glass. It doesn't come with extra O-rings. It doesn't come with an extra drip tip or top cap or anything. It's not 510 hybrid compatible. It's just a basic, super cheap tank. And I replaced the silicone drip tip pretty quickly with the smock one. I think that's a smock. Isn't that, isn't that funny? <laughs> so I don't know what you guys think about this, but like I said, I normally ignore really inexpensive, strange hardware like this, but this one has kind of got under my skin and I carry it around and I like it. And plus it's green um, and it's so inexpensive. And I want to try some of the other coils. And the other thing is that even if the coils jump around, they last forever. Like I've been vaping on this one coil for probably three, three and a half weeks which is pretty amazing actually. So, and the flavor is pretty good. You can hear that you cannot adjust the air. And so that's as far as it goes open. It's probably a third of the air of the TFE8. But anyway, if you're interested in something super inexpensive, that's kind of weird, click on the link in the in the description down there. Get one in Heaven Gifts. They're only 12 bucks. It'll cost you less than $20 for the entire kit with extra coils. So give this thing a shot. It's interesting. Tell me what you guys think. What's your favorite inexpensive coil? Write it in the description. If you like these videos, click like. If I'm irritating and you can't stand me, make sure you click on that dislike button and be sure to share, tell your friends and click the subscribe button because often people watch this and do not subscribe. Maybe you forget, we're live twice a week. Once a week if I'm busy. This is a twice a week week. We're gonna go to work here in about half an hour. And I love all you, thanks so much. So this has been a review of the Carrie's Green Tech. I wanna thank Heaven Gifts for sending this thing to review. I didn't get paid anything for this. And this is all out of the goodness of my own heart. We are gonna stick around. And if you can, stay for the review or the hangout period, which is right here at 6.30. We're just gonna hang out. Talk. Thank you so much. It's been Vape AM, Carrie's Green, Tank Review. Thank you, Heaven Gives, and this thing's so cheap. That's a pretty good song. Jeremy Fuchs, M Ray Usual, Usile, Usile, can't pronounce that, sorry. Got any advice for a one shot juice? Mm -mm. What do you mean one shot? Do you mean like some one good juice to get? Like a big one, you're gonna buy a cool bottle? Because I do, actually. Hey, Ryan Baxter, great to see you from South Africa. Mark Jones has his vape and RX200 Goon 1.5 Lemon Tart. I hope you guys have a cup of tea. And all of that, I have a very strong cup of brownie in motion tea going on right here. Let's look at the desk again real quick. Maybe I'll just get that. Don't I have a desk cam up? Oh, there we go. Yeah. So let's talk about giveaway. To, to earn this thing right here, all you have to do in the replay chat, not live. So not live, guys. Remember, all y'all live people, you got to come back and watch this once it posts. It'll be probably one hour after the show. Come back and comment in the comment section, West Coast Vape Expo 2017. That's all you got to do. Comment that. Do a hashtag, West Coast Vape Expo 2017. It's nice to see you, Drew. It's really great to see you. West Coast Vape Expo 2017. That's what you want to put in the comments after the show's posted.
after it's posted, do that. And I'll give this away next week sometime. We'll send this out. I've got something to send to send Brady Vape. Brady, I still have not sent you your juice, but I've got it sitting right there, and I'll send that to you. Love you, buddy. And if you guys haven't joined us in Discord, come to Discord and chat with us. I chat with people there every day. There's a link right down there in the description. It's discord.gg. I can tell you the exact details. Discord.gg. I'm going to read. Why should I do that? Why do I do that? You know what? I'm not reading it to you, but I will paste it into the chat right here, and it's in the description down there. Just click on that. Join Discord, chat with us, add us as a server, come hang out with the Orbital Vaping Headquarters family and the Juicy Jones HQ fam. Vape fam! This is my cup of tea that I'm stirring quite strongly. That's why you see a spoon on my desk. So I'm pretty excited about West Coast Vape Expo 2017. I'm pretty excited to get to a show. I'm going to be there with the uh, Van Gogh Vapes people. It's going to be pretty cool. Still rock that new Captain Ma topped with my new Pulse 24. Oh, that's good. I'm kind of stoked you like you end up liking your Captain Mod. Jeremy is our friend who's like, he's a super med guy, and he when he sort of like made a practical decision. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get a regulated mod to build on so I get ohm readings and stuff instead of a cheap ohm reader. And uh nice ohm readers are nice, by the way, but cheap ones are bad. Anyway, so he got a captain, and so far he's pretty happy with it. So it's cool. I think his first impressions weren't so great because he's not used to using regulated mods and and you know, I get it. It's like everybody's got their own thing. And then little by little, he's starting to like it more and more. And that's cool. Or maybe he just absolutely loves it. And I got the wrong idea. That's totally possible. I'm not psychic. But you guys are great. I'm really, oh, there's Stuart. He's in his voo drag with that Smock X baby. Strawberry yogurt. That sounds good. That's what he's vaping. Stuart loves that X baby. That's cool. I actually don't have one of those. You know that I still don't have a Cleto 120, y'all? I have never received a Cleto 120 from anybody. And I never bothered to buy one, even when they were on sale. Money's been spotty this year, so I haven't done it. But it's interesting. I tell you, it's kind of funny. This greens tank is sort of growing on me. I, it's sort of weird and funny looking and super cheap. Super cheap. Ohm readings are all over the place. But I kind of love it. 810 only. Easy to change the coils. I mean, super cheap. For 10 bucks, buy this tank. I'm just saying. Oh, and the captain is pretty fucking amazing. It is. It totally is. And I got to tell you guys, too, I'll just do a little comparison for you. These two are hot as shit. Hot as shit. The captain and the Wizmac. The captain is actually much smaller than the Wizmac. It's narrower and shorter. I'm sorry. The Wizmac is actually much shorter than the captain. It's narrower and shorter. Not much narrower, but a little bit, and um, not lighter weight. They're about the same. Uh, so really, it's just kind of a hand feel thing. Uh, the probably the electronics and the J Bow were probably a little bit better than the iJoy. But I've got no problem with the iJoy. I wish the iJoy had bypass. The J Bow doesn't have bypass either. Actually, they're probably equivalent. They've got all the same features. This thing's two amp charging is actually two amp spread over both cells, so it's still going to take you two hours to charge on this. Two hour charge time. Same as this. Um, or maybe this one's a little longer, but these are great. And I build on the captain too, because it's a great big platform that's big and square. And if you want to fit big atomizers, the only game in town is the captain. The big atomizers fit on the captain like a dream. Here's a, here's a TFV 12 rainbow. And it doesn't even come to the edge. Like there's tons of space there. Whereas on the Wizmac, that's going to be kissing it. As you guys see, I'm vaping on my AS Vape AIM-9. With some, these are actually Ultra Clouds coils that are stuck in there. Freaking great coils. Sent those to me. This is the TFV-12. And you see the TFV-12, the base is correct, but the whole thing sticks out on there. God, that thing is heavy. Heavy duty. Whoa. Hey, Daniel Lancaster, great to see you. Tell us what you're vaping on, buddy. Oh, and Owen is mentioning also that, it's funny how we all talk about this all the time, but I did the same thing. It's like, when I did the unboxing, I realized that the that Wizmec have got their 510 shit together. It's much, much, much better, y'all, much better. Daniel Lancaster, not impressed with the software. Hey, tell me which software you mean, the one on the iJoy or the one on the, on the Wizmec? Or both. 
please. Just curious. I'm gonna crank this up. Yeah, there's the TFB 12, 120 watts. If they come up with the DNA 250 version of which one? Yeah, this thing works great. Both of these mods work absolutely great. The thing is, I, as far as electronics goes, I don't really care. Uh, what, to me, the electronics, what really matters is that they just have reliable, they have all the basic modes and they're pretty reliable. Because otherwise, um, they're just selling you on weird stuff like temperature control and stuff. Ah, the WizMac. He likes the WizMac. So he didn't like the software too much. I personally think it's fine. I think software on these mods is overrated. A lot of a lot of vape channels play the gotcha game with these things, and that's really all they've got is like to be able to sync, <laughs> to be able to measure watts and stuff. Really, to me, usability is the most important thing. And what I tell everybody all the time is that none of these things are telling the truth. You should assume that they're not telling the truth and vape at lower wattages, and you're fine. You don't have to worry about them lying too badly. Where you have to worry is fucking manufacturing problems. Ooh. And also, it's important to point out, and this is in defense of Daniel Lancaster's point about the electronics being bad on the WizMaker, him not liking them, and that is that these people are routine liars. So Segeli especially lies on their mods. This Fukai is 135 watts, and it says 225 or 236. So it's important to always take the biggest grain of salt possible with these guys. Um, we're talking about the battery life. Um, yeah, Jeremy Fuchs, and this is the whole, Jeremy Fuchs is making the point that it's not about the 18, it's not about the mods, it's about the batteries, and this is it. Daniel Lancaster loves the battery life. These mods get insane battery life, and it's not just insane battery life, it's that the battery life is what it's rated at. These basically fulfill the promise of the 18650s. They, they do what 18650s have supposed to have been doing all this time, and they work nominally. Nominally it means they work as they should, the way they're labeling and stuff. And so both of these are great. They get insane battery life. I haven't even been able to test the charge on this, on the onboard myself, because um, it hasn't been convenient for me to do that. But I've, I've run down the batteries on this thing three times and it's taken more than a day at 80 watts, both times. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, these things get great battery life. They're super attractive, both of them, if that matters to you. They have the basic electronics. And these 2,700 batteries, are the stuff. These are really the stuff. Especially these Sanyo 2700As. Uh, Daniel Lancaster says the ARCs 200s run temp control just fine. Yeah, that's another point I that I make quite a bit is that there's a lot of there's a lot of like pressure to buy fancy SX mods and stuff. And I don't see, I mean a few people are gonna be into that stuff, but the temperature control on the captain and the temperature control on the WizMag, they work great. I mean, Joytech is in a lawsuit with Evolve right now over these chips, and these are basically DNA chips. So they work pretty well. Where are we at? 120 watts? Oh, we're only at 73. I'm going to go back up to 999, because that's my jam. I don't know about you guys, but I love the 999 watts. 99.9. Jeremy Fuchs, it's so funny that you mentioned... The 18650 version of the captain, because they made an 18650 version of the captain. Head desk, face palm, what is that? What a useless thing. There's adapters if you have to use them. Uh, Dro, about the Chaos Z, man, it's okay. Is the Chaos the color changing mod? Please remind me, because I have it right here. It's like I dropped it. <laughs> yeah, it, it literally fell off the shelf, sorry. <laughs> it's on the ground somewhere over there. Um. The Chaos Spectrum or Z? I'm not sure. Daniel Lancaster says, what is your favorite 2700 brand battery? My favorite one is the Sanyo 2700A. Let me switch to the desk cam here. This is a Sanyo 2700A battery. And we'll get the camera to focus on this. So it'll be a little bit easier. Sanyo, NCR 2700A. B is bad, A is good for vaping. Remember, Sanyo A. B is bad. These are the best ones for vaping right now. It's a 3000 mAh, 3100 mAh, 30 amp battery. These, the iJoy batteries, let's see which ones I've got laying around. Okay, 
So I have the Sanyo batteries in my Wismac. In my Ultra, I have the Sanyo battery. So that's all for those. Here are the iJoy batteries. These iJoy batteries are also good, reasonable 2900 ma. They're actually 2900 ma. 30 amp batteries. And they say 40, but they are 30 amp batteries. And uh, make sure that you get the ones with five leg PTC rings. This is important. If you guys look at these, you notice how there's five legs in the PTC rings? One, two, three, four, five. These are the ones that are actually 30 amps. The ones that have four legs on them are 15 amp batteries and you don't want those. So make sure that you explicitly buy your batteries from IRBatteries.com and get these. Amp King also makes good batteries that are basically the same as these. And I think I'd slightly prefer the Amp King batteries over the iJoy batteries, but they're pretty good. Let me see which ones I have in here. I have an iJoy one in here too. So I can't find an Amp King 2700 right this second and they must be in my backpack for charging. I have two Amp King ones and the Amp King ones are pretty good. Hey, my camera is doing something weird. Stop that camera. Stop it, I say. Stop, I say. It'll stop in a second. So, um, make sure that you buy five leg PTC ring top eye joys. Amp King, you're fine, but get the Sanyo A's if you can. And remember guys, always buy your batteries. Always buy your batteries at imrbatteries.com or illumin.com. I wish I had an affiliate code. And always look at Battery Mooch. Battery Mooch came out with another, yet another, thing today that showed how a, a brand of batteries is bad. I don't know what's going on with my camera. That's crazy. Okay, so all of you guys are super great. It looks like my, it looks like my, my camera may have calmed down. Like what is going on with these? Strange. We've been on about 20 minutes. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters and Juicy Jones HQ. Join us on Instagram. Make sure you like and subscribe. Click all those buttons. Tell us what you're vaping on. And remember that to enter the giveaway for the replay, come back after it's posted later this afternoon or tomorrow and post hashtag West Coast Vape Expo 2017 in there. And then I'll do a giveaway of this carries tank next week. We're going to be there December 9th and 10th. I want you to join me there. It'll be really fun. There's going to be a bunch of people showing up. I'm going to be at the Van Gogh booth. So if you're anywhere near the Pacific Northwest, come to the West Coast Vape Expo in Pasco, Washington. Let's see. Oh, Dro says that that chaos mod is the one that's clear on both sides and you can see the board on one side and it lights up. And uh, he said just a little bit meh. What on earth is going on with my camera? My people, people. What is going on with my camera, my good people? I can't explain. Wow, the wonders of technology. Am I right, guys? Like, hello. Don't know what's up. I tell you, YouTube has been very frustrating this year. They're trying to kill me by delisting all my videos. There, stop now. Can't explain. Uh, wait, Daniel Lancaster, you're going to come to the West Coast Vape Expo? That's good. And, and you know, may, Daniel, maybe I don't remember what your Instagram name is. That's the problem with YouTube and Instagram and all this stuff is that I may have talked to you a million times on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, I may not know. But so remind me, make sure you message me and just keep messaging me, reminding me like, I'm gonna be there, yeah, I can't wait. And then uh, we'll keep cross posting and stuff. And let's tell all our friends too. I think it'll be really fun. Drew's saying, have I heard of Silver Black Juice? I have not. Tell me about it. I tell you what I have heard of, and that's this delicious Volare VIP. Oh my God, I love this stuff so much. Look, you can see the camera. <laughs> That's so funny. That is some good stuff. Why is my camera doing that? That is so uncool. That is so uncool. You should not be doing that. That is uncool. Oh, Daniel Lancaster, you're Spaniel. Great. Okay, cool. Just keep reminding me. <laughs> Sorry. That's like, there's so many names, but that is awesome. I'm so glad. He's going to be Saturday. That is cool. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I'm putting together a Patreon thing, which I should have done two years ago, but I didn't. And, um, That'll help me maybe raise a little bit of money to be able to just pay for odds and ends and buy things to review and uh, maybe pay for some dog food. Wow, that is just so unpleasant. I'm so sorry about that, y'all. 
Hey, there, it's working now. Mm. So, yeah, that's his, Dro saying that's his new flavor, silver black juice, and he's vaping Rocky right now. That sounds pretty good. I'm down with it. What other kind of news do I have? Oh, there's some new stuff from Heaven Gifts coming out, right? Let's get the new products list out. Uh, all right, Heaven Gifts. The Gems Prime Mover RTA. That looks pretty good. What do you guys think about this? Let me uh, open up the thing here. Here, I'll put a window up. Okay. New arrival. Don't forget that we did the D19 last week and it was really good. This is new, the Gens Prime Mover. RTA, three mil. Got a super tall cap for, it looks like we're for refilling. Uh, sideways, post decks, dual hole. So you're sharing. This thing looks terrible to me. I don't know about you guys, but that just looks like a mess. It's just too too much metal, over-designed. It's kind of like the Pharaoh. That's just my opinion. You guys tell me what you think about that. The E-Leaf eye stick with their new little, the Kia. I've seen these too, they just look too big. I keep thinking about my, my Dovepo Ember. I mean, look at that thing. And then look at this thing. Like, this is smaller, 50 watts. It has a 2500 in it. This is a fucking great little mod. I'd much rather have this. Just saying. My opinion. Okay. All right. Arctic Dolphin, Squonk Mod, not interested. I don't know about you guys, but I just am not interested in unregulated Squonk Mods. What a ripoff. That's just what I think. To me, they're just a cash grab. I don't like unregulated mods that much in the first place. Advkin Dominator. So this is just a, another clear miser. Oh my God. Oh, it has an RBA. So hard to say. Still love the Joytech Exceed D19. That's great if you're quitting. Got friends that are quitting. Buy that. Gas. Last for the Rue. That new 60 watt. What do you guys think is in this? What battery? Is it an 18650 battery? Like, I think this thing looks dumb. The Artha RDA. What do you guys think? Not very interested. PEI sucks. And the iJoy Elite 21700. So this is kind of like the Aegis. This is great. That looks cool. I like the Captain Mini tank. Yeah, look at that, 21,700 included. This is fucking awesome. All right, talk to me. What do you guys think? Looks like Daniel loves his Drip Tech TS, but you have to build fast ramp up coils. Yeah, I get that. One of the ramp up is one of the reasons why. The, the 2700 revolution is better for ramp up, but it, it's it's because they're, the batteries are operating at the correct rated amperages and not the sort of lie that the store told you when they bought them from eFest. Pretty good. Well, I love all you guys. I want you guys to have a great day. I'm going to take off here. We're going to wrap this up. Make sure that you join us at, um, at the uh, West Coast Vape Expo, but click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. If you don't like these videos, click on the unlike button. <laughs> don't like me. That's fine with me too. I want everyone to have a great day. Get a cup of coffee. Have a nice one. 
Join us back here on, I guess, Saturday. And then don't forget to come back and enter the giveaway for the Carries Tank here. Enter in West Coast Vape Expo just into the description. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being you. Join us on Discord. Click on the link in the bio. And I am going to find my little button and vape out here. You guys are great. I actually don't know where that little button is. I don't have a producer. Me, it's just me alone. Pretty hardcore. To me, like I shut the window. There. All right. Thank you so much. Love you guys.